Okay, so I decided to um, just apply the spiral nail first instead, so that the file them all together. So spiral nail is this, it's going to click this. It's like a corkscrew. Mine has a bead. Right there. It spins. But her nails are too short for that. So I can show you guys another time with that. Um, with the spiral nail, you just use a straw. And just a basic little straw. But I cut it to size pretty much. Now what you're going to do is what you're gonna do is you're gonna rough up the end of it a little bit with the file. And I usually rough all of it so it sticks better to the underside of the nail. So it goes there like that. So I'm gonna do that. And basically you just rough up one side a little bit that's gonna go under the nail. So it sticks better with the glue a little bit there. And then you take your nail glue and then you just put it on the edge here. So it'll come out to get another one. But I need to do another one, never mind. Now you don't want to use too much glue like I just did, but anyway, you're going to just have the nail really short like that, and you're going to stick the straw right under. You want to bring the skin down a little bit so you can get under it. Like that. See how it's straight? It's going to be straight when it dries. And you have to wait till it dries. And there you have that. You have to make sure it's nice and... It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but at least straight if you can get it. So it doesn't look straight when you're done. Okay. Then next, since we already put the acrylic down, Next, we're just going to put the base of the spiral down first. Then you take your brush, but you want to keep your brush on the dry side. More powder than the monomer, pretty much. About two to one here. See how it's kind of dry a little bit? That's how you want to keep it. And basically, you start your spiral like this. You put a little bit on one side. And then you bring it over. I'm trying to make things better so you guys can see, but it's not really working. Hold on, give me a second. Well, you want to um, just keep it all lined up. Just basically make the spiral as you go. Make sure it meets the end of the nail there. Like that. You can do a big spiral, like a big space or a little space. I suggest doing smaller spaces because it won't break as easy. Yeah, just do that. And I'm going to see if I can make this lighter for you guys. I'm not going to work. I'm trying the best, best I can to show you guys as I go. The same thing here. It's kind of dry. No. You want to bring it turn off. where you left off. You want to bring it and keep spiraling it. So you meet there and just keep going. 
not straight across, it's more at an angle because you're making it like spiral stairs, corkscrew, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to file it anyway. I keep it on the, the good side. See how it's going. Yeah, and then where you left off again. Same thing there. Mm -hmm. And you want to make it as long as the other nails are, unless they tell you they want it. If they want it longer or not. So basically, this is as long as her nails are. And sometimes I bring them to a point, sometimes I'll bring them to a rounded corner. But right now I do this one as a point. As the nails are pointy, I guess. Okay, we have that. That's just the base for it. Can't really see too well. So you can see how that goes around. Then we're going to just start putting the stuff inside. The same stuff as all the other nails with the same concept the powder. You got some glitter. What I usually do for the bottom of this is I like bring it to like a, the end of a swirl, kind of. Like a little point. I'll show you in a second. What you can do is when you put it on, all you have to do is just shape it before it dries. You can manipulate it into any shape you want. And we just did it right there. And I just keep going up. I'm just going to use the same fade effect here. And just bring it down a little bit. So I did there. See, it's a little bit faded there. And then you get the turquoise glitter and you do the same thing. Nickelodeon, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, Nickelodeon shows so dumb. <laughs> and I faded it under there. Not right there, I faded it. And I kind of grabbed the green, green, green glitter. And do the same thing. The length of the nail, you'll know when to um, switch over to that next color. 
because you don't have much room to work with and get all the colors in. And then you take the silver glitter and <clears throat> just add it onto the tip. And then you just fade it in to blend it. Okay. You see how that there? I don't think I can really see it too well. I'm going to start using my camera and my phone. Okay, and I'm just going to take the beads and put them in the same spot, pretty much covering about half is what I put. And then you just put the, the turquoise beads on the turquoise glitter in one spot. I'm not going to cover all the glitter because you do want to see it. Then the green beads and put on this side, so on the top, kind of point for them to be on the bottom. And then the silver beads on the tip. And then you're just going to take the acrylic and just put it over the whole nail, like all the rest of them. Make sure there's no empty corners, empty sides, or anything. And as you're going, you want to make your own your shape to the side. How it's going to look on this angle. And you just want to cover the whole spiral. Not the spiral, just the spiral area. Keep it neat so you don't have to work so hard in the end. Just cover it lightly, you don't have to cover it and drastic. And then you just keep going around, like leaving it all the same thickness, you know, like some spots thinner than others. Okay,
Keep going around till we get to the end. You can look at it from this way to see yourself the same thickness, at least to the thickness you want it to be. So when you do file it, it's all the same. And not too much coming off in one spot. And there you have the file now. He's a part of it, a little one. <laughs> at the bottom, goes around. Has a glitter and the beads in it. It'll look better once it's all clear. There's mine, there's hers. And I will be back to show you, as I said before, to file and shape these ones. And then another one will be to file and shape this one, which I will do this one last because that's a dry spell. So I'm going to do these, and I'll be back.